Hi, it's Rob from Game Developer Studio. This is a preview of the animated four-sided dice. Inside the download folder, you get PNGs, SVGs, and GDS Plus of dice animation sequences, including eight frames of the animation, as well as all the results displayed on the dice. If you're just looking for a quick preview of the animation, I've quickly put together this sprite to preview so you can see what the dice roll like. Obviously, you'll have to make your own animations within your project, but this is how the dice play. So as I mentioned, inside the folder, you get the PNG files. So if you want to directly incorporate it into your project once you've downloaded it, you've got it there. But as well as the PNG files, we've also got GDS Plus files. So if you haven't seen what GDS Plus is yet, GDS Plus will let you fully edit and control every aspect of this dice through the GDS Plus web tool. To launch the GDS Plus, I'm going to go to the GDS website, click on launch, and launch the tool. Let's put it into the full screen. So I'm going to load the GDS Plus file, which is in dice pack four sided dice in the GDS plus folder and I will load the let's load the animation so as you can see there's various GDS plus files it's GDS plus all frames of the results GDS plus individual frames Okay, this is the animation in individual frames. As you can see, each frame is a separate GDS object. As well as the individual frames, you can load all frames in one strip, four-sided dice animation, all frames. And instead of being individual frames, there will be one object, sprite sheet. So the editable features of each dice are color and effect. So we can turn on and off the effect. We can turn on and off the motion blur. The motion blur is this effect that you can see behind the dice. So you don't have to have that. And also if you want to use symbols or some other type of numeration for the dice, you can turn off the numbers and then that'll let you paste on your own symbol. So those are the switchable effects for the four-sided dice and color control for the four-sided dice is as follows. We can control the master color of the entire dice. So you can make this dice any color you want in one drag. Or we can go into specific areas of the dice. So if we want the, we want the effect to be white, black or some other color, we can change it via the color control. The numbers, we can affect just the numbers. We can change the color of just the numbers. And the dice body, just want to affect the dice. So there's quite a bit you can control color wise for the dice. Set it. Okay. That's probably about all you're going to need to be able to do with this dice. Also included in the dice pack is the dice tray, which you can use if you want to do a dice throwing cut scene or some other scene for your game. The dice tray again is a GDS plus file, so you can edit and modify almost every aspect easily in the GDS plus tool. Quick example, let's load in the dice tray. Included is the dice tray GDS. Okay, as you can see, this is the dice tray. You can turn the end nails on and off, and we can adjust the colors of the felt background. Turn on the stroke. In fact, let's re-establish the colors, and let's select just the base. So we can easily modify the, the felt base. We can change the wood color, and the nails. You can also use GDS Plus to 
quickly make separations on your dice tray. Duplicate that. Here, let's duplicate this. Duplicate this one. That one to the top. You know, we need to go to the back. This is what needs to come to the top. Make a nice position for the throwing pot. But let's make that bigger. GDS plus assets are SVG, so you can make them as big as you like, and you'll always keep the resolution. In fact, this dice tray, even though I'm zoomed out now, is 2,033 pixels, so it's probably already big enough. Okay, clip that. There we go. Let's get rid of all these. Uh, actually, I'm going to import a dice so we can see what the dice look like on there. So I'm going to open import. I'll go to a dice pack. Let's pick a, let's pick a 12 sided dice. In GDS Plus, you can import SVGs directly. So I don't want to import an entire GDS scene. I'm going to import uh, a couple of SVGs. Let's import. Let's import the, these SVGs. As you can see, it's brought them in. Yeah, we've got a couple of dice. Let's put some spare dice over here. In fact, we can use uh, some animation frames for the, a change in dice perspective if you wanted to fill a dice tray. Let's go to the animation. Let's bring in three different perspectives. Okay. Let's turn off effect and the blur. Again, effect, blur. And that's, that's the same perspective. Again, let's turn off the effect. Let's turn off the blur. So now we've got a nice jumble of dices. Move that down below the wood so it looks like it's actually in the compartment. Duplicate these. Move it down. Just for a bit of effect, let's change a couple of change the color of this one. Let's change the color of this one. This one here. Now I've got a nice dice throwing area or cutscene. 